All right, our first question is from Kevin Curry87. When supplementing with creatine, should your intake differ on non-training days? Oh, yeah. Love talking about creatine. It's easily the most effective and well-studied. That's the other part that's important about creatine. Creatine has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studies that have been done on it showing its efficacy and its safety. Uh, a lot of safety studies. So creatine is extremely backed scientifically. And a lot of studies are showing that creatine doesn't just benefit strength and performance. It has antioxidant benefits. It's got cognitive boosting benefits, especially in vegans, but also in, in omnivores. Mm -hmm. It's got lots of health benefits. Creatine is, by the way, it's not for everybody. Some people will take creatine and notice gastro upset. Very small percentage. Small percentage. But though, but most people supplementing with creatine, I don't care if you, I don't even care if you don't work out. Uh, I think if you're an adult, creatine probably will benefit you. In fact, the, there's these like uh, anti aging pills and health pills now are coming with creatine in it because they're oh, finding it interesting. Yeah. Really, really interesting. But creatine is a great supplement. Should you take less on non training days? Um, the studies show that the that when you take it makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, studies show that taking it right after your workout um, increases the uptake of creatine. Studies also show that when you take it uh, alongside caffeine, that you reduce uh, some of its intake. Also, if you take it with mm. carbohydrates, I didn't know that about the caffeine. Yeah, yeah. Caffeine. And it's That's, like it's like a it's like some studies say don't yes, some, some say don't it. some of these supplement companies actually pair it with pre workouts? Yeah, uh, a, lot like them, a lot of them. Yep, a lot of them. Yeah, lot, there you go. Whole thing. Yeah. yeah. No, you, uh, creatine. Interesting. This is all splitting hairs because if you take it on a regular basis, I don't think it makes a difference. But splitting hairs, you want to take creatine post workout. Does that mean you should take it less or take take it uh, not take it on your non training days? That's what I do. I don't. There's no studies to support that, though. But here's what I do. I only take creatine on the days that I lift weights, and on the days that I don't, I don't take it. But I also eat a lot of red meat. You know. So I, yeah, I, I think yeah. you just. I mean, you're talking about three to five grams of it. Mm -hmm. you know, we're not talking about very much of it. Uh, I would take it every day if you're taking it to to take it and see the performance from it. Take it every day. Take it consistently. I think it's easier to do that than to try and go like, oh, I'm only doing it on these days versus th these days. Uh, I, we've talked before about it, and I forget the amount of ounces of meat that you have to consume in order to equate to, I think, three to five grams of creatine. I've read it before. It's a decent amount. It is a decent amount. Yeah. Most people definitely don't eat it in a single day, so it doesn't hurt even somebody who does eat uh, a lot of red meat to still take you know, at least three grams of creatine. And uh, taking five every single day with or without red meat in the diet, I don't. You're not going to oversaturate it. You're not going to do. It's not going to have any adverse effects no. from it as long as you. It's something that doesn't already now, bother now you. Now, when creatine first came out, they they recommended that people do what's called a loading phase, where for the first, yeah. I think it was like five or seven days, mm -hmm. you take fifteen or twenty grams of creatine, and then after that, you just take five grams of creatine because the studies show that you would top out your your stores of ATP faster if you took more in the beginning. Now, although that's true, the, the difference is tiny. You're talking about days faster, like a few days faster. And honestly, I think supplement companies did that to promote people using more creatine. Of course <laughs> oh, they yeah. did. I think they're like, take, <laughs> take a shit ton for a week. That's yeah. a good idea. Uh, so you don't need to do that if you're taking it. Legion does a good job with, uh, with their creatine. First off, they use crate, creatine monohydrate. That's the other question I get. What type of creatine should I take? Because creatine is so popular, and there's so many studies supporting it, and it, 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 for everything, not just muscle gain, strength, but also indirectly for fat loss, uh, indirectly for testosterone uh, in men, uh, and, and of course for health. Um, lots of alternatives that come yeah, out. Like it's been bastardized. There's well, lots of other alternatives. Yeah, creatine HCL, yeah. and you know, uh, creatine citrate, and you know, crealkalin, and you know, what's funny is first off, 99% of the studies are done on creatine monohydrate. Number two, when they do do studies on the other forms of creatine, they don't work as well. Mm -hmm. They actually did one on crealkalin, which was the, you know, take this, you don't get bloated, and it's supposed to, which is bullshit. Oh, they, they compared worst it Worst marketing ever on they, that. Com they compared it to creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate was actually more effective and way cheaper. It's, it's actually inexpensive. Legion combines it with uh, uh, L-carnitine tartrate, which is uh, a version of L-carnitine. Uh, an amino acid that's utilized in, in transport of energy to the cells. and So what's the theory behind pairing it with that? Uh, increased creatine uptake and also because, uh, you know, Mike Matthews, here's the thing I like about Mike Matthews. This is why we decided to work with Legion. 
he only does what he sees evidence for. So he doesn't do anything that's speculative. Right. If you see the evidence or whatever, then I'm going to... Just then, the efficacious dose. Yeah, it's got to be like, okay, I got to have studies that support this. And taking L-carnitine tartrate post-workout uh, has been shown in advanced athletes at least to speed up recovery. So because creatine is good to take post-workout, he combined it with L-carnitine tartrate, uh. put it together in a drink, take it post-workout. The way I use it is if I'm not if I'm using pure creatine monohydrate powder without anything else, I'll just put it in my post-workout shake or just drink it on its own afterwards. If I'm using Legion, I actually use that in, during my workout because it tastes good. So it's like, eh, I'm going to drink water anyway while I'm working out. I might as well sip on this the whole time. Now, the things you may notice from creatine when you take it, you will, you'll gain some weight. So you will gain between one to, depending on how much muscle you have. It's good weight, Three though. Count. I it try is. and explain this to everybody. It's it's holding water in the muscle. In the muscle. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's, it, and there's a That's why the whole bloat thing is so irritating. It's, right. a, it's a different look than than it being, it, like, you getting it in your gut and your, feeling your, bloated and fat. Your muscles right. are going to look more full. You know, I'll use a term that people like, toned. So if you gain a pound or two pounds of interest muscular fluid, you're just going to feel tighter and more toned because I know a lot of women are like, I don't want to gain any weight. No, no, no. This is the kind that you want. That's why you're lifting weights in the first place. Um, and then that, because muscles have more water in them, they actually build faster also. So creatine has this long-term muscle building uh, effect from the extra fluid in your muscle. So across the board, it's one of the only supplements that I'm like, this is one that try it out. See if you have gastro distress. If you don't, like most people won't, Take it. It's a good supplement.